from Miley to Mariah, Taylor to Queen Selene, a historic night of girl power was had last night. Welcome everybody to Entertainment Tonight's Grammy After Party Special. Not even the Southern California rainstorm could mm -hmm. keep folks away. And look, while some stars received their Grammy flowers, the biggest bouquet came in the form of Celine Dion's triumphant return to the Grammy stage. The one, the only, Celine Dion. I love you right back. <laughs> Walking out, escorted by son Renee Charles, an emotional Celine had stars hanging on her every word after stiff person syndrome sidelined the legend from any stage for more than three years. When I say that um, I'm happy to be here, I really mean it from my heart. Backstage, Celine gripped Lady O's hands. The singer made her secret entrance via a VIP elevator. We're told she was feeling good and wanted to be part of this night. Taylor Swift. No! Yeah, while Taylor made history with her fourth album of the year win, this snub, or oversight, lit up social media. She did walk up on that stage and hug everybody except Celine. What are we doing? But backstage, the two hugged it out. Taylor, congratulations. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm fantastic. Earlier, after winning her 13th Grammy, her lucky number, Tay had a Swifty surprise. This new album coming April 19th. But is it a slam at ex Joe Alwyn? It's called the Tortured Poets Department. What's the name of the WhatsApp group you're in? <laughs> <laughs> Tortured Man Club, I think. Speaking of exes, watch closely. There she is. Look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, that's Tay's former flame, Calvin Harris, backtracking, but still clapping. Our eyewitness says Calvin didn't initially stand for Swift's history-making win either, but eventually rose to applaud alongside his wife. Can we get a wave? Tay arrived in all-white custom Scaparelli with her Snow on the Beach collaborator, Lana Del Rey. Meanwhile, where was her plus one in life, Travis Kelsey? Unfortunately, I gotta get ready for this big old Super Bowl. He spent Sunday in Las Vegas. Taylor's expected to join him at the big game after closing out eras in Tokyo. Last night was Tay's fangirl Super Bowl, posing with pretty much every celeb Swifty. Hello, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. You look gorgeous tonight. Taylor's fumble with Celine wasn't the only controversy last night. Jay-Z called out the Recording Academy for Beyonce's lack of best album wins. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. 12-year-old Blue Ivy in a white princess dress joined her dad on stage. Mom watched from the audience. Some of you made it, Rob. Some of you don't belong in the category. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Jay celebrated right after his speech using the Grammy he won for the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award to drink cognac. The Carters, who arrived an hour and a half late to the show, left just a few minutes before the ceremony ended. But Miley Cyrus, oh, she had a blast. Flowers, Miley Cyrus. Started to cry, then remembered, I just won my first Grammy! She won two, actually. Her boyfriend, Max Mirando, joined her backstage and she soaked up her time on stage with presenter Mariah Carey. This MC is gonna stand by this MC for I'm this because this is just too iconic. Miley's performing tonight. People love that song, but it feels like it also tells a lot about her life. You know what? You gotta dissect those <laughs> lyrics. I think the fans know more than anybody oh. knows. After an ecstatic Miley won record of the year, she had this moment with Billie Eilish, who took home song of the year. The little dance with Miley, had a little fun. Did you all say anything? She was asking me if I also feel like when I get on stage, I say the dumbest I could possibly say, and I was like, absolutely, 100%. Billie Eilish. Tonight was insane. Four years ago right now, I remember so fondly seeing you after I won five yes. Grammys. This turned into your night. I guess. And I was crying, and it was honestly, like, truly one of the most incredible nights of my life. And I think about you frequently, because I saw you right after, and right. I, was, I remember you were like, Billy, you did it. And I did, and it's cool. Billy beat fellow Barbie Song of the Year nominee Dua Lipa. We got something special for you guys tonight. But the Dance the Night singer is living her best life, opening the show with a new single, Training Season. Words. Give me it in three words. It's intense. Okay. It's strong. 
It's Dancy. <laughs> Best R&B song winner SZA is another artist who killed it on stage. She accepted her award from good friend Lizzo. To be on the stage with her is so amazing. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> I love you. Um, I'm not an attractive crier. Have a good evening. I am a little nervous because there is a legend standing in front of me right now. Where? <laughs> really? The humble piano man himself, Billy Joel, debuted his first new song in 17 years, Turn the Lights Back On. I'm an ex, but I'm here right now. Billy hit the carpet with wife of eight years, Alexis, and their adorable matching daughters, Della and Remy. Does Billy Joel listen to Billy Joel at home? No, we do not. You Our do children not. do. I think they're doing it to annoy me. <laughs> Playing piano, man, it drives me nuts. And you got us feeling all right. Oh, and hey, Oprah, she pulled a short skirt from her own closet to wear in honor of good friend Tina Turner. She used to say to me, Oprah, you should always dress up for dinner. Oprah introduced her color purple star, Fantasia Barino Taylor, who delivered a show stopping tribute to the Queen of Rock. It's a full circle moment as Proud Mary was also Fantasia's American Idol audition song. Proud Mary, keep on burning. Griselda actress Carol G won Best Musica Urbana album. We were exclusive backstage with the Colombian singer as she broke the news to her parents back home. Mommy! Bobby! Te amo! Nos ganamos el Grammy! My mom is with my dad and they're screaming. And Best New Artist winner Victoria Monet hit the carpet with nearly three-year-old daughter Hazel. Backstage, she was joined by her own mother, LaTanya. Hey, 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 hey. I told her to come on the stage and she just did and she, I was like, where were I you? I felt like it was improper for me. You know, country girl, you yeah. know. R&B performance winner Coco Jones was also joined by her mom, Javonda. She's a Grammy winner. She is a Grammy. My daughter won a Grammy tonight. That's my girl. There was a lot of excitement at the show, but also some drama. After winning three golden trophies, Killer Mike was handcuffed and escorted out of the show by LAPD. The rapper was arrested, booked for a physical altercation, then released and returned to the arena. But he still missed this moment. I remember when we were driving, driving in your car. Luke Combs and Tracy Chapman teamed up to perform Fast Car, the song that scored Luke a Grammy nom and Tracy a Grammy win 35 years ago. Jelly Roll was on his feet singing along. You came to represent your community. How many folks did you bring with you? Most importantly, I brought my daughter, my 16-year-old daughter Bailey, and my wife Bunny's behind us. You talked about your mom when you got these nominations. Will she be watching tonight? She's watching from home, man. There we go. Hey, mama, I'm on the red carpet with E.T. How you doing, mom? We are good. We wish you were here tonight. I do too. I, I wish I could have been there too. Oh, oh. Burna Boy made history as the first ever Afro fusion artist to take the Grammy stage with Brandy and 21 Savage. And Joni Mitchell brought the emotion in her first Grammy performance almost nine years after suffering a brain aneurysm. Life's a Nearly 17 million watched the Grammys on CBS, up 34% from last year. But some moments you didn't see on TV, yeah. big star running. Busting Mine. all in the thing. I want to mess up the whole interview. I know, I'm just, Richie! You know, no, you see, see, every chance I get to just attack somebody, <laughs> I want to rush somebody. Tell Lenny, 21 Savage wants to be on your next record. <laughs> What's happening, man? Yeah, yeah let's do it. You, let's do it. You too. All right, man. You have to show. See, we're, we're working out things here. And sorry, Housewives fans, things are not working out for Candy Burris in Atlanta. Are you going to be back? I'm thinking I might just say. OK, I'm going to drill down. Are you making an announcement right now that you are going to take a break from Atlanta? Now you don't put the pressure on. <laughs> but I guess, yeah. Also on the carpet, lots of couples, John and Chrissy, Kelly Osborne, and a mask wearing Sid Wilson, and this new mom. I'm so excited to be here tonight. I'm like, I'm with my boo. I'm like having the greatest time. 
Do you feel different being a mama? Like, is there is there an added confidence? Yeah, I definitely feel more powerful okay. and like more womanly, you yeah. know? What is Paris Hilton the mom like? Uh, well, let's see, the other day I came home, Paris was on a motorized scooter, and Phoenix was following her around and they were doing relay races. The cutest date award goes to Kelly Clarkson's seven-year-old son, Remy, who proudly held mom's hand, and how about this super famous mother-in-law? I can't believe that Meryl Streep is here. I really can't believe it. Because, I mean, you... Oh, that, what? Huh? You thought I was lying! Meryl presented Record of the Year with daughter Grace's husband, Mark Ronson. We already gave out the um, best song. Yeah, yeah, that's a songwriter's award. That is also a totally different thing. Yeah, yeah. that's the one you lost. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Yeah. She loves music, she's so supportive, and she, you know, she heard the earliest demos of like, I'm just Ken and Dance the Night. She was a big part of like, a, a great era on all the Barbie stuff from the beginning.